start up the game. Fold up the legs. Lock us the door. So Maddie does not know I'm playing Catherine. Even though this will eventually get posted and she'll find out one way or the other. She is definitely like the only person that uh, watches these episodes religiously. So pretty fair to say she gonna find out. Hello YouTube and welcome back to Let's Go Gaming. My name is Derek and today I am adventuring alone into the wonderful world of Catherine. And what better way to do it alone because, uh, this game is a little lewd as far as I can understand. That's about the only thing I've ever known about this game which came out, um, quite a many years ago, uh, that it is a little, is it okay to start in this mode? Sure. Um, this game is a little bit uh, sexual in nature. It's very uh, alluring um, because it's basically about a uh, I almost said three-way relationship. It's a it's a love triangle of this guy who can't decide whether or not to continue being with his long-term girlfriend or leave her for someone that is a little more tantalizing as we saw there in the uh, opening screen. Uh, the only other thing I know about this game is that it's, it's a puzzle game. It's all the levels are you're trying to figure out these puzzles where you're in your dreams and you're also a sheep or something. Um, and I think it goes without saying that this game is a little bit off the beaten path. It's definitely not your traditional game. Uh, and I love games like that. I love uniquely styled games. I mean, look at all that uniqueness right there. She's got a whole head full of uniqueness. I'd say about the size of an inflated beach ball, to be exact. And it's quite strange. She has, like... Wolverine style uh, mutton chops. Like I know it's supposed to be like uh, uh, bangs I guess, but you don't really have bangs for an afro. I mean at the top part, like the whatever you call the part, you know when girls part their the hair to their side and they have it like going down the side of their face, but it's like over top of her cheeks unless she has like a really thin cheekbone structure. But we wouldn't know because our hair hides it. But yeah, she turned into profile there. It's definitely, it's on her face. But it might be just like the overflow of like the poof of her hair flowing around the sides of her face. I don't know why I've talked about her face so much. But um, especially when there is, whoa, quite the steamy show on display. She's basically explaining what I was saying about the love triangle, I'm pretty sure. I've, there's subtitles on, so hopefully that will continue out through the rest of the game. So while I'm talking, if you guys want to follow the plot, you got the subtitles going on there at the bottom. Um, this is also just a very fun game because uh, it should be cool for all anime lovers out there because it has a super crazy anime style to it. At least like in the cutscenes. Everything we've seen so far is a little bit more like a let it die Japanese type game, you know? But this looks like very traditional anime. Oh, hey, what is my dog barking at? Snap out of it. Or Maddie's dog Maggie is like downstairs roughing at something. Uh, yeah, I was listening. That dog is barking at nothing. It's crazy, ain't it? We've been spacing out left and right. Oh, sorry. I uh, had to work early this morning. Yeah, I know that feel. <laughs> I work early shifts every day at my job, and it's just like the whole rest of the day, all I want to do is be like a husk of a person. And I know that's like never the ideal like point in life, and I definitely don't want to stay where I'm at, but like, you know, when you work a full-time job and then you come home and you have like an early job that gets done at 3 o'clock like I do, you know, you just can't help but like come home and you're like, 
I need an hour or two where just nothing happens and I just not even like sit and play video games like the best thing I can do is like watch Netflix or I'll go on like social media or something I just like something that I need something that's totally passive that doesn't need my like immediate attention and that's not always when I get home because obviously there's shit that I do like right after work sometimes but and the sheep <laughs> and also featuring the sheep in the role of the sheep <laughs> ew ants that's how we get ants um i really probably won't pay too much attention to the story of this game like i mean i will but like i don't know how much i'll talk about it it's not like the game of thrones where i cared a lot about the story and i was playing it for that i just i really am fascinated by puzzle games i mean i like the whole idea of the story if you catch my drift but like Beyond that, like, I'm way much more into the mental part of this. <laughs> Which I realize is equating... That sentence equates to, I read Playboys for the articles. Like, I play Catherine for the game. Like, but no, like, really, the, ga the actual game mechanic in here has interested me for a while. And, uh, you know, the lewdness is just icing on the cake. And I think it balances out pretty nicely, considering the main character apparently is in, in his underwear for most of the game. Okay. Hurry up and climb. Okay, how do I do that? Save your breath and start climbing. If you fall, you're dead. Oh, okay. The bottom of the stage is falling. Use the directional buttons to move and climb. Huh? That's it. But there's some blocks that seemingly go down. No? Okay. I can just go straight on up. But I'm guessing later... Okay. Later I'll have to be able to somehow uh, see which blocks are going to be the next layer to fall and which ones are not. And that's probably a lot of the pitfall of the game. And this, uh, like, kind of 3D dimensional pattern recognition remembrance. This is the like name of the game for these puzzles. Oh, gosh. It should be noted, um, I'm playing this on PS4, and I don't want to say how I'm playing it. There's a service where you can play games on the PS4. I don't want to name it specifically. Okay, wait. Oh, all right. Oh, see, now I can see behind that block. Oh, but now I need to... Whoa. God damn it. Oh, God. I just want you to... F okay, I gotta hold X and then push the whole thing. All right. What's this pillow do? Up a mystic pillow will grant you an additional continue. If you see oh, all right. As far as I know, I have ten continues right now. Interesting. Oh, goodness. Cool, I got money. Don't just push blocks around without thinking about it. They'll collapse, and you can put yourself into an impossible situation. Okay. Moving blocks around carelessly can make things more. Oh, if I was to pull one block out of the space of another one. Alrighty. Try pulling a block to make some footing. Alright, I got it. But I don't need that yet. All right, let me just try it for shits and gigs, even though I don't see. Oh, didn't seemingly make that one. No, God, I was just trying to pull it out a little bit for footing. Oh, I can climb around the side. Look, I'm Spider-Man. Or is that part that they're talking about not come yet? As far as I can tell, there's no, there's no part that I really needed to pull a block out from another one, under another one. But all right. Wait, these blocks aren't normal. They lock into place and support your weight, even if they're only touching by their edges. Okay. What's that supposed to mean? <laughs> <laughs> yeah, I mean, alright. I don't know why they have that first narrator if the second narrator comes in and says it like exactly what it is supposed to mean. The edges glow bluish white when making a connection. Try it for yourself. Okay. Where? 
Oh, so like if I was to... You said that- what the frick? Oh! Oh man, wow, I have just opened Pandora's box of- wait. Oh! No! How do you climb- Oh, May I actually realize I probably should have pressed up. I lost in the tutorial. <laughs> and let me just- <laughs> I won't take as much advantage of that uh, from now on, especially because I'm only in this tutorial, but apparently my leftovers fucking already count, and you better not fucking start yelling at me again. Let me get to back to the point I was before you start saying some shit there, buddy. I was just, I'm playing around with the mechanics of the game because I want to try to understand them as best I can right now. That way, when we get to later in the game, oh, and the retries always come back, okay. And that counted for two. Um, and there's like a speed bonus. Like if I go faster, I get a. Oh, okay. Um, I want to make sure to understand the mechanics as best I can. That way, later in the game, I can try to figure out some things um, easier. What is it? Ask? Oh, duh! It wanted me to go like this. edge. But I thought it was those blocks that are, oh, whatever. Why was it talking about special blocks but it wasn't, like, the, the blocks? Okay. These ones don't budge. Am I, like, running out of time somewhere? Okay, stop. No! God frickin' I want him to dismount. But he doesn't dismount, he just uh, pulls shit with him. Oh my god. This is gonna be some like 3D chess fucking shit eventually. I've already. Oh no, wait, I can just do this. Duh. Alright, now I'm back up here. I can pull that one out. Uh, ha ha! I'm a dumbass. Yeah. God, this bell in my fucking ear. How am I supposed to be able to pay attention when this ding dongin? Okay. Alright, yeah, I mean, it seems to be the only way to climb up things, so. What the hell am I holding on to? I'm holding on to the pillow. Alright, do, 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 okay. Yeah, I was wondering that as well. That's a. Oh, God, so it's gonna happen every level? There's gonna be a bell in my ear? I feel like that's like a tactic to throw off your concentration within the game. Like, here, fucking try to make stairs now, you silly bitch, while there's a bell fucking in your ear. Well, the bell's ringing! Let me go and climb the tower! I wonder if it just lets me walk off the edge. Uh. Oh, no. Okay. Ow. I can just push it forward. Gravity doesn't matter. Bong. Haha! -ha. I can get out through here. I mean, that's typically what doors are used for. Although, depending on your perspective, you're either entering somewhere new or exiting somewhere old, or both. Oh! Oh goodness! Something's trying to murder me. Oh shit! <laughs> what a genuine reaction! Oh shit! Better skedaddle the fuck out of here, gang. Oh, uh, so that totally was a time meter, wasn't it? 
that side part of the map. I really wasn't watching close enough or looking over it enough to see if it was like going up or down. Oh, I want a golden afro lady. Why don't you blow me a kiss? Man, is this gonna be a love square soon? <laughs> Actually, I guess it's more like a U, but a U is like a bend, like, because you don't connect all sides. That's why I never got a love triangle. It's more like a love, uh, shit, what's that Aquaman symbol in the, uh, alphabet? First day. Is this when I wake up with the beautiful girl next to me? And I've been cheating on my girlfriend all along? But is that saying eight hundred thousand dollars for a trip to another uh, country? Terrible dream. I must admit, uh, I'm a huge fan of anime, which you'll know if you've watched a lot of other series um, that me and my girlfriend have done. Um, plus, by the way, if you're wondering why Maddie isn't here, uh, then you really don't get lewdness. And why would I want to play this game of all games with my girlfriend? Because she would probably be berating me the whole time for looking at half clad women. Um, but we watch anime all the time, and we love Japan, and we love the culture. Um, so a game like this, and being able to see, like, well, I guess a relatively realistic version of Japan, just like some, like, um, Slice of Life animes, they're always kind of fun. Uh, just, especially, like, look at these little apartments, like... I wish cute little um, studio apartments sorry. existed like this in the U.S., but I feel like apartments in the U.S. try to make it too big of a point to have, like, all the rooms and have, like, a separate kitchen, dining, living room, which is nice. It's, like, a lot of space to have, like, your stuff and whatnot, but if you are living, like, single, like, you really don't need too much, and I know I'd highly appreciate so if I weren't already dating Batty and living somewhere with her already... Oh. Having, like, a nice cheap place like that to go. Like, even when I went to college and, like, people were getting housing off campus, there was nowhere that just had, like, a thing like that. Like, they had, uh, like, a, a couple-room apartment. Like, n they built new, uh, non-college-funded dorming houses. Like, there were third-party companies that made, like, these, like, specifically for college students, we only let college students in type dorming houses um, right no, off the campus I and I don't think days. they ever had something that was just like a single room like that yeah, um, like you, you could no you, I don't think you could even get a single room in any of the college funded houses it was always at least two people like my first year I shared a room with one other guy and then my second year it was me and five other dudes in a college sponsored one um but it was like we had a kitchen we had a living room we had like a second room um two like full bathrooms and like there were three rooms like two people to a room it was basically like a glorified version of the first year but just like i don't know sometimes easy's best right who knows sometimes easy's best god this guy is totally non-committal and that's probably the whole conflict to this game. Ah, yay. <laughs> oh my god, what? What? I was, I'll get back to what I was saying in a second. What the hell was that? Was he dead in his room? Accident or murder? Lonely death of young man. Oh, that's a taco culture in Japan. But yeah, so like... And while police are investigating I don't think I ever heard of anybody having just like a single room like that. Even in college, when like something like that would like pay off. But I guess like in college they would jack up the price. But you know, Catherine keeps telling me how. Yeah, it, because like in America we have so many things in excess. We have so many things that like we just want to have all the space and all the room. And like you can find places in New York that are definitely like shitty single studio apartments but that's out of like capacity for new york like i wish like i could move to a nice small town like they have in japan like i know that no town in japan is really small they have like a capacity problem in a lot of spaces but you, there's like there's countryside towns where there's a lot of people and place to move outward but they still have those small sub neighborhoods where they have 
wow. these like apartment complexes that are the single rooms like we just saw with our main character here. And it's a lot of like the slice of life animes or even animes that are just based in like real cities. Like you can almost see it in um like Oran High School Host Club when they visit Haruki's house. Like she has a little bit more of an expanded house because she lives with her dad and they have like two separate rooms, but it's like still like very small style. Like the kitchen is part of the living room. The living room is almost like completely empty. It's very um, almost minimalist in a strong way, and I can respect that. I don't know, as much as I would love to live like that, I know I have so many possessions that would be hard for me to get rid of, like, but I always want a style, a Japanese style house. I always want to, like, have things built into the wall that I can kind of, like, close up the wall to hide stuff and just kind of, like, have a living room that's, like, an empty room and a table, like, totally Japanese style, like, just sit at the table, maybe have, like, a few pot plants in the corner. And realistically, maybe I'll do it someday. Maybe I'll just do it with, like, one room. Like, I probably won't be able to have a whole house that's like that because... I collect shit like Funkos that I just want to like sit on shelves and crap. I collect like old cameras and I have a whole like um, tower of old DVDs and shit that like I just always want on display. I cover my walls and like posters. That's not to say walls can't have art, but like I just I really I would be jamming the square peg in the round hole by saying like I definitely want that life. But it looks so beautiful. It looks so minimalist and fun and interesting uh, and I guess in a lot of ways it also supports like what we do here on this channel and that's a big stretch just to stay off from the start but like I had a really scary dream I think it supports the idea of adventure and not just like sitting inside all day which is completely against otaku culture like otakus in Japan it's this culture where People don't really leave their houses a lot. They're just agoraphobics, or they just play video games. They build Gundam models and like all that kind of stuff. Like they just like have no lives. And they don't leave their house. But like, I could see like in a small space like that, like having just the same opposite result come out a lot. Where it's like, well, if you only have that space, like you've got to be like getting out into the world. Like, I don't know. Like personally, I think if my personality, if I was like forced in that space, I don't think I could stay inside. Of it. Like. I would run out of Netflix. I'd run out of stuff to watch. Like, e like even if I had a million dollars, I didn't have to go to a job all day. Like, I just want to get out of there. Like, I'd want to like spend my days like walking on the streets and like, the streets of most Japanese cities are like kind of peaceful and calm and nice. Like, most of the time. So like, anime glorify glorifies it a lot. It makes every it makes Japanese culture beautiful. And oh wait. You can check your text messages and save. You could even reply to some messages. Be sure. Okay. Whoa. I can text. Um. Well, that's where I'm gonna end for uh, today's show because I need to figure out what this does before I go and ruin the whole game. Because I thought it was just puzzles, but it seems like there's going to be some decision making, and give them a past this experience in that. I really should probably do my homework this time. Uh, but until next time, uh, stay adventurous, and I'll see you then. Bye!